So right guys, Ash here bringing you episode 4 I think it is the rod in from Ribbery. And like I say, first off, I'm really sorry about how inactive our channel has been the last like 4 days. It's because me and Dan have really been really like, busy in terms of our social life. And also YouTube really has been kind of a bitch recently with the sub boxes and everything like that. That shit went down today so it's very frustrating guys. I couldn't really get a video out and there was no point if like the sub box is down or it just wasn't working whatsoever. So there's no point really but... Hoping to get our channel back to being like daily uploads again, guys. Now we've kind of got them busy periods out the way, so I'm gonna do a different comedy style this kind of episode, guys. Because guys, because people said that I was talking way too fast when I was trying to keep up to date with the video. So this time around, I'm just gonna talk about some of the deals each set and kind of so you can just look in the background and see what I get the deals for. But I'm gonna talk about why I got some of the deals and what times I got them. So looking at the first set, I traded at like five o'clock on a Friday. I think I did this. Let's see, you got some informed cleverlies, Arteta, DeSanto, Pantamillion. Because some of these is very nice to trade with because the Pantamillion, it was actually price locked to the goalkeeper from Man City. I don't know why, I think he's got quite good stats for a silver keeper. I can't actually tell, but. <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> the better. But he, he is actually a good keeper, to be fair. So I think this meant why he got price locked. So when he got price locked, this meant I could undercut that price lock pretty easy and could make really nice profits. Also, informed Clev living train with on my mind, it came very nicely. So, it doesn't make really nice profits if you're getting below the 21k or below the 20k, depending on what prices he is on that day. So, just see everything from the first set sold. And I did actually change something here as well. So, showing how much money I got because that used to re oh, mess up the recording. So, this meant that I really I just decided to get the next set out of the way with. So, basically, you could just skip my the video got a little faster as well. So, this new set, as you see. Got people like Ash Young, Johnson, Raphael, the Marlon Walker, John, um, Adam Johnson, and obviously the other one is Glenn. So this really means I like, got a mixture of pace players, which are really popular, obviously, because when you're in Division 1, 2, 3, you really need pacey players to win your games, because if you could play in them divisions, you notice how pacey some of the teams are. And also, if it's BPL, they create really nice hybrids with some of these players. Just look at the Marlon, it can make a nice Belgium hybrid with people like, I'm trying to think of the CDM, he's from... Oh, from Russian League, oh, it come to me in a sec. But it's people like that, all Belgian players can mix up as well. You could have the Tongue in the team as well, even though he is BPL, you could have that. Uh, also, we've got Walker being English. You could make a nice English team, to be fair, with silvers and bronzes as well. So, you could make really nice teams, guys, with some of these players. And that's why I aim to get them quite cheap, because I knew they would sell pretty easily. So, the, really, I was trying to get them in the good formations as well, 4-1-2-1-2 and 4-4-2. Because them are the very proper formations for a pace team. Because obviously four one two one two, the two like left mid and right mid get very into the game, and this means they can help counter attacks kind of spread really quickly, and this can help create some goals. So as you see, I listed everything, come back, everything actually did sell, guys. Didn't show all everything selling, but everything did actually sell for what I put it up for. So that means really nice profit, especially actually young selling pretty quick as well. So going into the next set here. I got people like Fabregas, Lampard, Reina, Garcia, like people like that. I think it is Garcia, by the way. I'm not really sure with that, but Fabregas, obviously, he's supposed to Barcelona, CM, and he's also Spanish. This really means that a lot of people will want him to make a really nice hybrid with people like Arteta. Maybe make a BPL, La Liga hybrid. So it does actually pay off training with people like Fabregas. Also, you see, like CM Lampard in 4 4 2. His actually default position is Cam, so this is actually a very good move from me because when I got him to CM, I think the cheapest was like 17k, so I tried to undercut that, so mine would sell very quickly and easily. Also, got another informed cleverly because I, I like trading with him, guys, because he's very popular. Look at his pace on his card, that means a lot of people will want him just because that pace on that card will help him. I kind of be like fit an um, BPL team or an English team, kind of if you go for Goldburn as well, an English team can be really pacey. Also going for Rain now, I actually got Rain really cheap. I was in a 24 hour live stream with um, Fear Free Pace HD. And when I was in that, I actually got this Rainer deal and I actually told him about it because it's actually it's just a beast deal. I think I made up 3k profit or 4k on it. Really nice deal to be fair, I couldn't believe it. Obviously because it's that late, people wasn't on, some outbid me, so it meant I could get absolute beast deals. Also this informed Welbeck as well, I did take a risk on him. I think I got him just 5k below what he went for, but because of the VA tax, it took a lot off me, so it was a huge risk, but I had to try, because when how much money I got now, it means I have to try and get the bigger players, because I can't just stick to small players now, because I just got so, oh, I got so much money to get rid of. This means that I really need to aim to get the bigger players, just so that I don't have like a really big set of small players, because that would be pretty boring for you, some of you guys, so... That's why this set went for Fabgas, Lampard, Informed Cleverly, people like that. So could get rid of a lot of my money and make a really nice profit. 
So I come back and notice I got 192k now, guys. So close to 200k. I think we're like just under a quarter of the way to this um, informed rebreed. So that's very good, guys. At this rate, it should be just below episode 20. It will be done. So I hope I can keep this going. So. Anyway guys, I'm hoping you like this episode, kind of the comment, different comedy style. If you do, please help me get over 100 likes again. I've had it on every episode so far. And also on the Ashley Training Guide, which might be another episode of tomorrow, guys. going to try and sort that out for you. So, I hope you're looking forward to that. So, as I said, please try and get this over 100 likes. Comment if you've got any trading methods you want me to look into, or you need any help trading. I might inbox you as well, because I did inbox a couple of people helping them trade as well. And also, go subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the content. Anyway guys, have a nice day.